Segaworld and Sega Park are names referring to arcades in the United Kingdom. The parks sought to promote Sega games while providing entertainment based on its licenses. Topic: Venues. Topic: Metropolis. Metropolis was the first Sega-themed arcade in the UK. The arcade was housed in the basement of Hamley's Regent Street branch, as a Sega-dedicated coin-op den. The arcade contained a rare R360 motion simulator. Metropolis changed its name to Sega World, and later the game zone throughout the years. The arcade was replaced with a franchised game outlet at the end of 2003. Topic. Planet Sega. This Sega arcade was located in Queen's Ice and Bowl Bowling Alley in Bayswater, London. The Planet Sega name for the arcade area was scrapped in the early 2000s with the arcade area now being imbranded. Topic: <laughs> Sega Megaworld Croydon, Sega Park Croydon. A Sega arcade located on the top floor of a Debenhams store in Croydon, Surrey. It was later renamed Sega Park Croydon and was later converted into a game store. Topic: <laughs> Sega Megaworld Harrow. A Sega arcade located on the top floor of a Debenhams store in Harrow, London, located near Sega Park Harrow, which opened some years after Sega Megaworld. This venue was closed at an unknown date, some time before 2002. Over the years it was open, the arcade housed games such as Dark Stalkers, The Night Warriors, Alien vs. Predator, The Punisher, Virtua Fighter, Virtua Fighter 2, Virtua Fighter 3, Street Fighter Alpha, Virtua Racing, Daytona USA, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, The King of Fighters, 96, X-Men, Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Desert Tank, Virtual On, Cyber Troopers, Title Fight, Killer Instinct, Newman Athletics and the Mega Tech System version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Topic: <laughs> Sega Megaworld Romford. A Sega arcade located in the Debenham store in Romford, London. Little is known about it. Topic Sega Dome, Sega Park and Casino Collendale This Sega Park was housed in the Oriental City Shopping Center. The venue originally opened as Sega Dome in 1993 being a smaller counterpart to the Sega World in Bournemouth. It contained a R360 machine, removed in later years, and a bowling alley. This venue was renamed Sega Park and Casino in the late 1990s with the addition of fruit and slot machines after the leisure exchange buyer. The arcade closed for good on 1 June 2008 when Oriental City closed due to the buyout of the center by a property developer. The building has since been demolished, and as of 2016, a Morrison supermarket now occupies the area. <laughs> Sega Park Acton This Sega Park arcade is little known, and the only information of this location is that it opened in 1994 and was housed in Super Bowl at Royal Leisure Park. The arcade area now at this venue, now a ten-pin bowling alley, is imbranded. Topic: <laughs> Sega Park Basildon. This Sega Park was housed in the Eastgate Centre by the food court. It was one of the venues sold to Leisure Exchange in 2000 and remained open until 2005. The arcade's former shop unit houses a branch of Regis hairdressers. Topic: <laughs> Sega Park Brighton Leisure Exchange. This Sega Park was opened by Leisure Exchange in 2002 and was located next to a Burger King in the same building, both of which were located near the Brighton Pier. The arcade mainly housed fruit and slot machines, as well as some arcade games. The venue was closed in 2006 and then reopened under the Leisure Exchange name. The venue closed permanently in 2007 and the arcade closed once again. The building has sat empty with all its Leisure Exchange signage intact. The Burger King next door to the arcade was closed in mid-2015. Sega Park Bristol. 
This Sega park was housed in Arena One Bowling, later Bristol Mega Bowl. The venue opened in 1995 and was replaced by an indoor mini golf course in 1999. The bowling alley itself was demolished in 2008 to make way for new flats. Topic: <laughs> Sega Park Glasgow. This was a short-lived Sega Park housed in a Hollywood Bowl location which only traded for around two years before closing. The bowling alley was demolished in 2006 to make way for a car park. Topic. Sega Park Harlow This Sega Park opened in 1997 in Unit 70-74 of the Harvey Center. The games that were housed in this branch included Plasma Sword, Star Wars Racer Arcade, Virtua Fighter 3 Buster Move 4, Silent Scope, Crazy Taxi, Cyber Troopers, Virtual On, LA Machine Guns, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter and Motor Raid. The arcade also contained an area dedicated to redemption games, which was replaced with a gambling area by the time this venue was sold to Leisure Exchange. This area led to this arcade's downfall due to chavs and teen gangs eyeing the venue and hassling customers for their money. The troubles of this led to the venue closing in 2003. Leisure Exchange attempted to reopen Sega Park in the former Pizza Hut unit in the Harvey Center, which had failed. The arcade's former unit is now split into a subway, nail salon and other outlets. Topic. Sega Park Harrow Leisure Exchange. This Sega Park arcade was opened some time after Sega Mega World Harrow opened, which was far larger and was about 15 minutes walk away from this venue. Games such as Tekken Tag Tournament, Silent Scope, House of the Dead, and Time Crisis 3, among others, were housed here. It was housed on a single floor, with the video games placed at the front of the arcade and the Sega Casino section featuring gambling machines at the back. Not long after becoming the Leisure Exchange, around 2006, the venue became strictly a gambling venue. This venue was closed at an unknown date, likely around after November of 2012 and the unit is now home to an e-cigarette shop. Topic. Sega Park Holborn Leisure Exchange This tiny Sega Park is little known, and was branded as a Sega Park and Casino. On the sign, this venue spent its last year under the Leisure Exchange name and was converted into a newsagents in 2007, and the Sonic sign remained until around 2008 and was changed to fit in with the newsagents. Topic. Sega Park Reading Another little-known Sega Park arcade that was housed in Reading Super Bowl. The building was demolished in 2014 to make way for a new IKEA. Topic. Sega Park Southampton This Sega Park opened in the summer of 1996 and was located on the first floor of the Bargate Shopping Center in central Southampton. Alongside the other Sega Parks this one was also sold off to Leisure Exchange. It closed on 30 January 2013 after all traders inside the shopping center were given notice to leave due to the ongoing sale of the property. It was the last Sega Park to close down, even though the arcade had been unaffiliated with Sega after the Leisure Exchange buyout. Topic: <laughs> Sega Park Tower Hill Leisure Exchange. This venue was opened by Leisure Exchange in the early 2000s, and as with most Sega parks back then, housed some arcade games and lots of fruit and slot machines. By 2006, the venue became gambling only and so changed its name to Leisure Exchange. The Sega Park signs remained until Leisure Exchange's closure. This Sega Park was housed in the basement of the building it was housed in with the other unit in the building housing a Starbucks coffee. The unit now houses a coral bedding shop. Topic. Sega Park Wood Green Not much is known about this venue. It was located in Unit 7 of the The Mall Wood Green and traded until the early 2000s. The unit eventually became home to a public house, and is now half of a branch of Little. Topic. Sega World Birmingham 
A blockbuster outlet in Erdington, Birmingham had a Sega World Arcade in the 1990s, situated on the first floor. The arcade was later converted into a tanning salon, then to a UTC gym, which encompassed the entire building after the blockbuster's closure. Topic Sega World Bournemouth, Sega Park Bournemouth Leisure Exchange originally opened on July 24, 1993 as Sega World, it was the first arcade to be opened up by Sega's European department known as Sega Operations UK. The original floor plan design failed a fire safety check entrances and exits and layout of machines being main factors and the site was closed for two weeks. During this time, the floor was lowered and the entrance adjusted. In December 1993, it was split into various sections, ground floor, various arcade machines most notably a pair of R360s, and a raised area to the right that housed the Sega shop, which sold various video games, consoles, t-shirts and other merchandise, closed in 1995. Middle section, reception area, taken out in 1997, more arcade machines and two karaoke rooms. Back section, four half-size bowling lanes removed from site in 1994, and a Burger King restaurant closed in 2001. The Sega World name was changed to Sega Park in 1998 due to Sega opening the substantially larger Sega World London in the Trocadero in 1996. This one was sold alongside the other Sega Parks to Leisure Exchange on the 31st of March 2000, marking the end for Sega Operations UK. On the same date, Sega Europe handled the overseas arcades. In the early 2000s, the building was split up, the smaller half remaining as Sega Park, and the other half becoming home to a Gala Casino, later a Grosvenor Casino. In early 2005, an attempt was made to relocate the arcade to a smaller premises nearby, however local police raised objections on the grounds of potential high crime and disorder. After the Sega rights expired, Leisure Exchange renamed the arcade under their own branding, under the title, Leisure Exchange and Quasar Elite, in early 2006, which was to reflect a new Quasar facility that had opened at the rear of the arcade in the former bowling alley. In 2010, the premises were renamed again to simply Amusements and the Quasar facility was closed down in November due to flooding issues. In 2013, the arcade was sold to a former Ballplex manager, who renamed the venue as Fun Central with more emphasis on ticket redemption titles, penny pushers and slot machines than video games. Older titles such as Ferrari F355 still with Sega Park sticker attached, House of the Dead 4 and Daytona USA were originally present but have all been removed and replaced by newer titles. A three-player deluxe setup of OutRun 2 Special Tours SP and Time Crisis 4 are the sole remaining titles from the Sega Park era the former sourced from Sega Park Southampton when it closed. The arcade was refurbished in 2014-2015 and have added a cafe called Shake Express was later removed. In 2016 Fun Central become cashless with the introduction of a pay-as-you-go card facility. Topic. Sega World, Sega Park Tamworth Strikers Bowl in Tamworth, Staffordshire was home to a Sega World Arcade from the early to mid-1990s. It was situated in a large upstairs area, which had previously housed a Quasar Laser Tag Center. During the late 1990s, Sega World was moved to a much smaller downstairs location and was renamed as Sega Park. The upstairs location was converted into an arena health and fitness gym. In 2001, Strikers Bowl was sold by then-owners Limor Leisure Limited to Namco Operations Europe Limited. During the process of the sale, the Sega Park Arcade was renamed as Namco Station, a name that the arcade has since retained. Topic: <laughs> Sega World Wolverhampton. Located in a former AMF bowling alley in Bushbury, called Strikers. During the 1990s, it was home to Sega World Arcade. The location was then replaced by a smaller in-branded arcade and pool tables. The bowling alley itself closed in 2013 and was destroyed by a fire in December of that year. Topic: <inaudible> Sega Zone Brixton. This Sega arcade opened in the 90s on Electric Avenue. Today the building houses a William Hill betting shop. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Sega Zone Catford. Another Sega arcade that traded in the 90s on Rushy Green, Catford. Topic: <laughs> Sega Zone Woolwich. A Sega arcade which shared a building with a pub called the Shakespeare Today. The building houses a branch of Quicksilver Amusements. Topic: 
Topic: Segerworld London, Funland. In 1994, Nick Leslau and business partner Nigel Ray acquired the Piccadilly Trocadero. They arranged a deal with Sega to open an indoor theme park inside the building. Construction began in January 1996. London's Sega theme park kicked off at the height of its mascot Sonic the Hedgehog's popularity on September 7, 1996. It featured a number of indoor rides, coin operated arcade machines, and a Sega merchandise shop. Initially, its hours were 10 a.m. to midnight every day but Christmas Day. It was heavily promoted in the UK Sonic the Comic, where competitions were run to win items from the Sega World shop, and out on the streets where tokens could often be found for discounted or free entry, and free t-shirts were distributed. Leslau says that he became discouraged by the deal on the theme park's opening day, Sega could not deliver what they said they'd deliver. It looked amazing, but their rides were not capable of delivering the number of people they needed to deliver to support the operation. People were queuing for ages. It was a question of over-anticipation and under-delivery. Leslau and Ray bought back the lease on the Trocadero in 1997. In 2000 they renamed the whole establishment, Funland, after Segaworld was making a loss of £2.4 million a year. Funland was originally the arcade in the basement floor next to the Pepsi Max drop, which shared the same building as Segaworld. After taking over Segaworld, Funland shut their basement arcade and the top floors remained open, along with McDonald's on the third floor until autumn 2002 when the main entrance known as the Rocket Escalator, was shut. At that time the Dodgems were moved from the third to the first floor and a new lower ground floor was reopened. The arcade was arguably the largest and most popular in England with games in 2011 including DJ Max Technica, Pump It Up Fiesta, Pump It Up Pro, Street Fighter 4, and Initial D Arcade Stage 4. In May 2011, the rocket escalator was completely removed during building works for the hotel that would use the top two floors of the building. Funland closed on 3 July 2011, following a long-running dispute with the landlord over rent. The manager of Funland confirmed the dance game cabinets, including Pump Fiesta X and Para Para Paradise Second Mix would be moved to Las Vegas Arcade, in Soho. Other Funland machines moved to the Heart of Gaming Arcade in London. <laughs> <laughs> Related places A Sega World was located in Shanghai, although little was known about it. According to reports found on website UK Resistance, the basement arcade in Zujia Hui Shanghai operated a series of UFO catcher machines and Sega arcade machines long after the demise of its Western equivalents. The arcade was adorned with artworks and fascias dating back to Sonic's heyday, on top of a largely Dreamcast era look in meeting with some of the newer machines. Games featured in the arcade, identified by photographic records, included Outrun, Time Crisis, House of the Dead and an installation of the cult oddity Waku Waku Sonic Patrol car for younger patrons. Most notably, it also had Initial D Arcade Stage version 4. As of October 2009, it also had Taiko no Tatsujin 12 Asia version, Wangan Midnight Maximum Tune 3, and Mario Kart Arcade GP despite being Namco properties. In September 2007, another Sega arcade on the ninth floor of the New World Shopping Mall opened, despite the revamping of the adjacent food court. There were multiple signs near and in the mall itself in an effort to promote the arcade, a marked contrast from the past where its presence was only known by the noise that emanated to adjacent floors. It changed its name to Players Arena, though it retained images of Sonic and many Sega cabinets, and had expanded to two floors due to the addition of large-scale rides and photo booths. Like the Zujiahui Arcade, it also contained multiple Namco games. Citing poor sales, it closed in February 2011. Sega World Arcades can be found in Japan, although they are unrelated. See also Sega World Sydney, Joypolis, Gameworks, Sega Republic.